Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. I'm going to start doing my reviews a little bit different. I have kind of a list of things that I'm going to be looking at and thinking about while reviewing this. And then in the end, I will give it a rating out of 10 based on how it scores on my little product review list. So that's how I'm going to do all my reviews from now on. I'm using this little rating. Let's just get started. This is in the color 118 or Y325, which matches me pretty well. This is a solid and you get 0.44 ounces, which is not very much. Most of the time you get one fluid ounce in like a regular bottle of foundation, but this one is less. Plus it is quite pricey which is not very good for your pocket. Like always, I'm going to test it out with a sponge and also a foundation brush just to see the difference in application. I don't think I'm gonna use my fingers today just because I don't think it will work very well for this foundation. I'm going to use a little bit of primer today just to be even more consistent because I always wear primer so this will help me to know exactly how it performs. But I don't wanna use anything that's um, mattifying or something that is geared for like making a foundation last longer. So I'm just gonna use the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. So as you can see, my foundation kind of melted a little bit and got in the cover. So if you're gonna be traveling, you might wanna keep that in mind that it might um, melt a little bit since it's in a stick form. That's like the only downfall I can think of for it being in a stick. Because as you'll see here, it's so easy to apply. So I'm going to do this side first and we'll use the sponge on this side. So I'm just going to do a few swipes. So it blends out pretty nice with the sponge. Let's add a little bit to my nose. There. So it pretty much covered everything and completely evened out my skin as you can see on each side. So now let's do the other side with a brush. So this brush is the Morphe G6, which is just a flat top brush. This foundation is probably the easiest application foundation that I own. So there is what it looks like with the brush. I think they look pretty much identical, but this was a lot faster and I think it's a bit more coverage. So I'm just going to add a little bit more coverage on this side. I would say that this foundation is definitely full coverage. It's 11 o'clock so I'm gonna start um, the time now but I'm gonna go and finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll just pop on here to show you how it looks with the um, rest of my makeup on okay so the rest of my makeup is completed now just to note a few things my foundation never really set so I did have to put quite a bit of powder to set it so that's something to keep in mind that this say this stays really creamy. Also, this foundation looks like foundation on the skin. Um, so if you're looking for something natural, this probably isn't it. But even though I can see it, like I still think it looks good right now. So yeah, it looks good, just it looks like foundation. So other than that, everything is looking okay right now. And yeah, so I will check back at the end of the day for my final thoughts and you can see how it looks at the end of the day and everything like that. So. I'm just going to go and I will be back in a little while. Hey guys, so I'm back and it is about 5.30. So I've had this on for quite a while. So I thought I would come on here and just do my final update before it gets too dark outside. I am very oily right here and here and here. And it feels like oily. You know what I mean? Um, so really quickly, I'm going to try to touch it up and see if that helps any. I'm just going to take my beauty blender from this morning and kind of pat around my nose. It's not really touching up that well. 
Mm. Let me see if adding powder helps. Well, it took the shine away, but I still look like I've had my foundation on for a really long time. It just looks a little bit like it's separating and like it's it's coming off like on the tip of my nose, my chin, it's all coming off. And it just looks super cakey. It's pretty disappointing with how it touched up and its longevity. I think this could work really well for pictures, so if you're gonna put this on and then take pictures right away, I think it will be great for that. But if you're hoping for this foundation to be like an everyday, all day wearing foundation, I don't think it's it at all. Um, especially because it wipes off. Like it's almost all off of my nose and my chin, so. Anyway, I think that's all I have to say about this foundation. For the overall rating, I'm giving it a 6 out of 10. If you're interested in how I got to that rating, I will have it listed down below and I'm going to be doing that in all of my reviews from now on. So hopefully that'll help me with being consistent in my reviewing. I'd like to say thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you've tried this foundation, let me know what you think about it. And also let me know what your skin type is because I'm sure um, you know it will work differently for everybody. So. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you have not done so already. I will see you in my next video. Bye.